all that jazz we're on the road to 1k so go ahead and join today by clicking that red subscribe button i wanted to bring you guys a quick cute video quick and cute of my lot goals for 2023 so coming up in number one for 2023 i really want to develop an actual hair routine and that y'all know it's minimal styling it's minimal like routine minimal things you need to do but i want to have a routine as far as like okay at least once a week i'm for sure oiling my scalp at least once a week i'm for sure spraying with water rose water um whatever it might be and then for sh at least every two to three weeks having a wash day routine and just really giving my scalp some love and making sure that I'm taking care of it, keeping it all squeaky clean. Also giving it some, you know, oils to flow through and keeping it moisturized and happy and healthy. And I don't have any scalp issues right now. There's no flakiness or dryness or anything like that. Um, but I would just say that if possible, I would love to say, okay, on Wednesdays we oil our scalp on Fridays we spray with rose water you know and to just be consistent in it because I'm I definitely need some consistency in my life as far as that part goes next thing lot goal is I want to actually I said this in my last video but I really want to start growing my locks like basically seeing where I can go with using actual oil meant for growth um such as castor oil that's kind of thick and heavy but something lighter like rosemary oil I said this as well I would love to be able to put rosemary oil make my own rosemary oil and um my own concoction and start with my scalp and seeing where it takes me and kind of like watching that growth happen and um you know really documenting and seeing each like oh this is really helping and seeing because a lot of times we'll be like oh i've been doing rosemary oil for like two days or like five days and expect like some magical growth to happen but that's not reality so i really want to do that and see where it takes me you never know something else that i want to try that my loctician recommended is leave-in conditioner because she was like yeah you know your locks look great but maybe you could try leave-in conditioner i was like or conditioner I was like oh, okay what conditioner do you recommend she was like no actually leave-in conditioner and I was like oh she was like yeah that is um girl y'all I'm not gonna act like I remember why she said leave-in was better necessarily well she or why she recommended leave-in but she did say that um to try Miel's or is it my L? you know what I'm saying leave-in conditioner um so I do want to see how that how my hair likes that how the locks like go with the leave-in that's a little little different, right? Because I know a lot of people are really not for conditioner. And of course, like the leave-in, but she says still rinse it out, not just really leave it in like we would if we were just doing loose natural hair. And another thing I want to try for the year is trying more styles. I really want to diversify my styling options. And that means even like a braided updo or asking my lactician to do something different and unique. Even if it might last for like three or four days, just trying something different. It's kind of what I want to do. So y'all might see me with different kind of styles this year. So just just watch out. I'm just trying something new. That's it. You're like, oh, that's new because she just she's just trying to switch it up. That's it. Especially since my hair is, my locks are getting a little bit longer, a little bit fuller. I feel like I have more room to try more things you know versus like when it was shorter and still like trying to come through i was like mm, i don't know if that style is cute for you you know but now that she's growing we're there we're here so some of the styles i do want to try that i haven't tried is i've done for the most part just a braid out but i want to try two strand twist i want to try flexi rise and i also want to try like different just different type of curl style like rollers and stuff like that i think that would be really cute and different for me um and as well as maximizing my style so if i do do a braid out like make it still style that braid out and be cute with it even after like day three day four instead of just like when i do braid outs i usually just wear it out and down but i'm like oh you know you could probably wear an updo or a half do if it's twisted out or like a braid out 
So I think just expanding my styles is my goal. And lastly, I want to track my lock progress because I am not good at that. If y'all watch my previous lock videos, I have when I first started a dab, a little dash, a little sprinkle of in between and then like boom, I now. So I do want to try to each month at least have one, maybe like a linked picture um, just like a or a 360 video and it's showing each my progress like each month so that at the end of the year or when that next year and like anniversary comes up I can say oh this was what it was from January to March or March to you know June whatever I'm deciding to do I'll be able to have that progress like I did say I do kind of want the hair um the shirt to keep up with the length so I'm thinking about that. That'd be another way to track my progress. But just making sure that I'm including more pictures and videos so that you guys can see the journey. And even if you will, like look at yours and be like, oh, that's that's similar to mine. Like we 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 there, we there, or like, oh wow, hers are completely different. Whatever floats your boat. And so that sums up my five lot goals for 2023. So comment some of your lot goals below. Make sure you like this video. If you're still here, you might as well subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.